What's up guys, Noble Vigilance. We have Evan here. Coming in the Mercedes. We have Corbin over here. And we of course have our favorite Noble Vigilance. Evan almost hit me. Our favorite Noble Vigilance here. We're about to be heading out to Cars and Coffee. And Mac is here too. How's it going guys? Cars and Coffee October guys. It's gonna be great. Heard a P1 might show up, so hoping for that. Saw it on Instagram. Um, it is just a rumor after all, but who knows? We'll see. So we're gonna head out there and uh, I'll get some good footage for you guys. What's up guys, Noble Business. We have two M Coops right here. Just walking to Cars and Coffee, just spotted these out. Holy crap. Wow, look at that. Those are very rare. So, we're gonna be getting some pretty good footage. Already a great start, have a Camaro Z01 that just rolled by. And we have a nice Corvette Z06 right here. Here guys, we have a BMW i8. It's on the uh, charger right now. But they're really nice. And the headlights are really cool and they light up too. See it's charging right there. That's some pretty cool stuff. They're really nice cars. The, the design is just wonderful. All right, well, Corbin's going hardcore at YouTube right now. We're just chilling out. We got a nice Porsche GT4 right here. The tail lights are the defining feature of the GT4 and the RS. And it has very nice headlights as well. Very nice interior as well. I had no clue that there was a Volvo S70. We got Corbin shooting the M4 GTS right here. Check this out. They look very is this aggressive. Isn't a GTS? Yeah, it is. Wait. Oh, wait, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, this is the one I it has saw. a roll cage. And that cop already just pulled somebody over. Dude, that cop is bad, homie. Roll cage in the back. You can see over there. It has different taillights. The GTS taillights. This is the new BMW 5 Series right here. NSX in white. Not a big fan of Acura's though. BMW M3 E46. Very cool. Now two NSX and then just show that good girl. I saw this Le Mans car here. I didn't really show up much and I didn't really know it was a Le Mans car until uh, at the end of the show, but racing harnesses and everything. You know, the drivers there, and they switch drivers during the race because the Le Mans is a 24 hour race. I've seen lots of cars that I've seen last time. Pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. All right, guys, we have another Perfomonte. 
in the same color as the last one. Purple Monte, he's basically the Super Ligera of uh, Lamborghini or Super Promotion. <laughs> What's up? You're on the something. They got ropes around an empty parking spot. Okay, guys. We have ropes around a parking spot. That means we either have a hypercar showing up or something really important showing up really soon. So, oh my god, look at the seats, man. They're so light. They, they even took out the carpeting for it. They just have like really thin floor mats. Mm -hmm. Forged composite, too. Look at that. That's amazing, man. Here's the perfect Monte V10. Truck last night. Uh, uh, wow. Hey, you mind if you're not laying over the car with your phone? Because I don't want you to accidentally drop it, please. Oh, sorry, yes, sir. It happened on a La Ferrari and it cost him a lot of money. Guy dropped his phone on a La Ferrari. Oh, wow. That's it cost crazy. Him 100 grand to fix that thing. <laughs> yeah, car car maintenance is expensive with these things. Yeah, come on. True, one day. Not really. I mean, I'll go to the cool. They have it in the story. Yeah, and uh, this thing does have magnetic suspension. Magnetic suspension. The Fermonte has the exhaust tips mounted higher up. That's a really nice fall. We got ropes here, so two cars are coming. I'm not sure what cars are coming. Yeah, two cars coming. Another GTR 4 can. Got a 300ZX twin turbo and white right out there behind the tree. I also have an Audi R8. Supercharged. What is this, guys? I'm gonna check it out. Hold on. What the heck is this? I got no phone, no, no brand in the car. Just got another yesterday. Very nice though, very nice. A bit of a history lesson for you guys. The Aston, it's all good. The Aston Martin Virage is the precursor to the Vanquish. It has the exact same front. <coughs> Look at it. The same headlights, a bit of a smaller grill, the same hood, the same siding, and rims I'm guessing. It's a very similar interior to the Vanquish. But the taillights are the ones that they have on the DBS. It's basically a Vanquish with a DBS rear. The Vanquish has different taillights and a different looking rear. It's a bit of a lesson for you guys in case you want to know. Six point three liter V eight C sixty three AMG. I would just take, I would cut holes. I would cut holes in there and remove the uh, panel to make better aerodynamics for the car. But look at that, man. It has a great front end, the, this generation. The C63. Thank you, Let's go, Let's go be nice M3 or M4. They have some Porsches here. We have the. Uh, the CLS 63 AMG. Evan! This is the CLS. Oh. Right here. Carbon fiber spoiler on that one, too. Polished. M3S. This must be very rare because I never even heard of this before. Hopefully, I'm not wrong, though. But this is a nice engine. Jaguar F Type. SVR. Is this the SVR? Yeah, there's a DB11. There oh, shoot, bro. Hold on, one set. Oh, here's the, here's the, Check this out, guys. Yep, it's the SVR. 
Very nice. Convertible too. Here's the Aston Martin DB11 again. Many of you guys a bit more in depth here. So basically a DB11 is a V12 twin turbo. And it is a 5.2 beer. That is the that is the guy who made the engine right there. Evan wait. So here's your arrow. Comes into the wheel well, out here, and it goes out the side. Very efficient. And this is dragged and this is inlet to the end, to the back, right here. And uh, it's a very nice, uh, very nice setup that they have with the uh, DB11. All right, guys, this is Evan's dream car, V8 Vantage and stick. A couple more F-Type bars for you. All-wheel drive. V8 supercharged, positive displacement. This is the F-Type S. This one is rear-wheel drive. This is back when they were making them in rear-wheel drive, but then they discovered, oh shoot, too much power. So they put it all-wheel drive. So. Very nice. For fall, guys, 100%. La Ferrari. I'm going in. All right, guys, we're going into the crowd for the La Ferrari Aperta. Only a few hundred were ever made. Oh, they got it. 